watcher of my videos you would have seen that I posted a video on Friday saying I want to start talking about vibrato for today's lesson as the title of this video is also saying but um, yeah vibrato like I was saying in the previous video um, is such an important thing for a guitar player it's our fingerprint you know or our fav whoever your favorite guitar player is as soon as they play one note you know it's them, you know, like Eric Clapton, you know instantly it's him, he's got his touch and the infamous Barbara he has. B.B. King, if you listen to him, straight away want the infamous, um, you know, <laughs> thing. And then do his kind of butterfly effect, vibrato, what we're talking about. Uh, you know it's him, Steve Ray Vaughan, you know, like he's from the Albert King school of vibrato, that kind of monstrous, like, F you <laughs> type of vibrato, etc, etc, etc. Whoever, even if, it, and then I'm talking predominantly there, blues guys, but even if, you know, um, you're into a heavier thing, Zach Wilde, for example, has a very fast, wide vibrato, again, very aggressive, um, but, you know, you instantly know it's Zach Wilde when he plays, you know, so it's a big thing to kind of get under our um, fingers here, you know, and uh, a lot of people I see, um, struggle with it. And on one side I can completely understand why I struggle with it. Personally for me, I only can go for my own ways of being a player and whatnot. Um, it came quite natural for me. Um, my big inspiration, and I've said it before in previous videos, when I was younger, Richie Sambora was my kind of guy from the age of like you know, 14 to 20, something like that, you know, and I used to watch religiously Bon Jovi live in Wembley, the 1995 video, uh, and you know, subliminally his vibrato was coming in me, you know. So, if you think if I put on a bit of gain here, that, right, that, <laughs> that was my. Thing, you know, and I didn't sit there going, no, trying to practice that, even though that sounded all right. But I, um, you know, through listening to it so much, watching the video and whatnot, you know, it just kind of came in to, <laughs> into my psyche, if you will, you know. And you no, know, listening is such a big thing. That's why in the previous video, hopefully, you all kind of got that idea. And a lot of people were saying about the strange brew. Um, comparison and it really does you know Eric Clapton's Strange Brew you know it, it kind of sounds a bit like that I wasn't intentionally as anyone watch it back I was like oh yeah I can see what you guys are talking about so my tips for vibrato, uh, which I just pronounced properly there. <laughs> so the kind of BB King thing, let's talk with that. And this is, I'm going to mainly be talking in a blues content, uh, because personally I feel blues is the best way you can really express yourself. But this will work in that rock rain as well, you know, with the Wah! all that stuff. So let's, G is our key of the day. All right, so. So I'm in shape four, the kind of BB King shape, if you will. Um, so the notes I'm playing there, seventh fret on the third string, slide to the ninth. And I'm playing the tenth fret twice on the second string. Now, when I'm playing, I did this automatically, and then as I kind of developed as a player and learned more stuff, I found out BB King does the same kind of thing. So it's kind of um, a fast vibrato this is here. And, you know, looking at my kind of uh, hand, you know, my, it's coming from my forearm and my wrist, this, mo this uh, motion. Yeah. 
So it's always kind of on those root notes um, where you're giving it the the wiggle. You know. There, I'm on the root note in shape one. Right. But this isn't a lick lesson. It's just getting that idea of how you can let the note move like that, let it wiggle. So I'm doing that. <laughs> Basically, so if you think of, um, I don't know, if you're kind of waving in a very obtuse manner, <laughs> you know, but I'm essentially doing that, you know, so my forearm is twisting and a little bit of my wrist is moving as well. You remember, catch a little Bill and Ted, all that kind of stuff, you know, if you've seen Bill and Ted the film and they're doing, well, they do that, don't they, you know, but uh, it's the same, catch a little Bill and Ted, it's the same thing. So now on the first string, obviously, so actually, there's a good point. So obviously on the second and third and fourth and whatnot, fifth, sixth string, it's kind of, I'm bending down with it, with the note, all right? So if you think of, there's your note, and then you're bending it up to pitch and back down again. You're going sharp, flat, sharp, flat. Oh, sorry, sharp and then normal, sharp and normal. So I'm doing the same thing, going down. But on the first string, obviously you can't go down. Um, <laughs> you're gonna fall off. So you got same, I'm doing the same idea, but I'm pushing up. So I'm kind of doing that, pushing the note up. So yeah, this can be the kind of BB King Start of Arbrato, I believe he called it the butterfly effect. I think he was trying to imitate a slide player. That was his main um, goal. He couldn't really play slide, uh, as far as I'm aware anyway. And he was trying to get that bottleneck vibrato, but without a bottleneck. So yeah, try it. So hopefully that you get an idea and you can kind of see I've got two cameras hooked up here. So I'm looking here, but I'm looking there. So, uh. <laughs> um, but yeah. So if you don't even just sit, if you get like a G blues or whatever key you choose. And just sit doing that. So there's my beat. Bit slower. I'm gonna do it slow, it's not really the forearm there, it's more of a, well it is the forearm, but I feel a lot more stiffer when I'm doing that. There I feel a lot more kind of relaxed. And if I'm doing slow, it's kind of, um, I suppose it's less movement, isn't it? So then of course, when you're bending, That way it can get a little bit tricky, I suppose. Um, so you want to bend to the notes so if I'm uh, on the sixth fret, second string here. So I'm bending up, bending up to the root note. And it's the same thing, I'm bringing it down, so I'm going flat and then back up. Flat, up, flat, up, and as slow or fast as one desires. Quite a fast one. Oh. As long as you go back to the pitch, all right? So that's your kind of BB King stuff anyway. Now you don't always have to be going up and down. You can do the kind of side to side motion, a bit like what a violinist would do. Um, so I'll stay in G for the pro, why not? So there I'm playing the G note and you can see actually my thumb is coming off the neck and it's kind of coming down there, which obviously is, uh, if a classical guitar teacher was watching me now, he would shoot me probably, but you get a different sound to, to, 
And I do, I do whatever I hear in my head I do, you know, so... So yeah, I'm just literally um, doing that. You know, the thumb's actually coming off, so it's all very arm this way. I like it, you know, it's more of um, a bit more vocal, I suppose. Um, I believe so. I've never tried this actually, it's just coming in my head. Steve I has got that, I think he calls it circle vibrato, and he's mix, mixing the kind of, I suppose, traditional BB you know, King S vibrato up and down and the side to side. I've never done this, so I don't really know what he would. Um... <laughs> I'm guessing something like that, I've never done it. That's a bit uncomfortable to be honest for you because I'm not used to <laughs> Give it a go, you know, just doing a circle. <laughs> it's not really for me, but Steve I seems to do quite a good job of it, doesn't he? Now, if you are a Steve Ray Vaughan fan, that kind of... Uh... It's... I suppose you can look at it as like what the BB King, that butterfly thing, but with even more aggression. So I'm kind of stinging a note a lot more. I'm not, I mean, obviously I have a Gibson Les Paul and regular viewers, here's the beast. A lot of people keep saying, where's your Les Paul? Here we go. Um, so what I was doing for the BB King, I was doing all that. And, but the, I'm hitting the strings harder. Just being even more aggressive with it, but still you're going, you know, sharpening a note, back to pitch, sharpening a note, back to pitch. That's all it is, you know. So just think of, um, yeah, if you were singing a note or whatever, and uh, that kind of, <clears throat> God, what key am I in? <laughs> shaking a note with my vocal cord La. you know there going a bit more heavier I mean Wild, right? So if I put a bit of chorus on, I don't know how this is set up, but uh, that kind of sound, you know. So it's just a. A lot more kind of um, grabbing the the neck a lot more aggressively. I probably see my whole arm has changed a bit, you know, and the sex face coming. So now I'm bending a note and same idea what I'm talking about, down, up, down, up, but just with so much force. <laughs> coming from the same thing. It's all coming from the blues, if you will, um, but it's either just more aggression or less aggression. So if you can get that BB King style down, again, when I was doing it, I was, I'm not really a lick person. 
Um, I just play whatever I feel, and I didn't hear BB King play guitar. Shockingly, to I was been at least playing guitar for about six years. You know, because there was no YouTube then. <laughs> you had to go and buy CDs. God, remember those days? Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, I didn't really uh, get a chance really to hear him until I was in my late teens, really. Um, so yeah, you know, that was just again a, a feeling I felt. But then it turned out, you know, I was doing that, that BB King vibrato, and then it's just different forms of aggression from there, you know. So, um, yeah, let it be, I mean, one thing I will say, like, I'm not super warmed up right now, so even now, because I'm, especially there, I'm giving it a lot of balls, um, it can wear you out. <laughs> especially when you are just sitting in a, you know, sitting in your room kind of thing, and it's uh, not in a stage environment. If you're on stage, just where, you know, the adrenaline's going, and oh, you can give it a bit more oomph, you know. So, yeah, start off on that slow kind of vibrato, and build it up, you know, um, let's get out of A. go and finish this up with chords there um, I'm kind of no there's an A major chord from the second string five six seven okay now it's kind of a, a bit of that kind of violin side to side vibrato the neck a little bit. time I'm doing kind of a double stop, two notes there, I'm going side to side, so I'm on the 5th fret 2nd string and then the 6th fret on the 3rd string, I'm just kind of going side to side like that violin vibrato and it gets that really sweet and um, pretty sound. Sorry, on the different thing of that, you can do the kind of um... <laughs> that one as well. Sorry, that just came in my head. So, uh, oh, I first saw Richie Cotson do this and Greg Cow. So, say I'm on the C. Go back a fret, and then so from the fifth fret, slide to the fourth, slide to the sixth, back and forth between there, and then finish on your desired. Um, notes, which is C. I never plan these videos, I just, as if you're in the room with me now, that is how I am, <laughs> as you just saw. So whatever you know you're on, and then finish on it. You're going back a fret, forward a fret, back a fret, forward a fret, finish a note you're on, and you got it. 
There's another one for you. <laughs> really hope you got something from that, guys. Um, please let me know in the comment section below. And also, as well, um, I've got lessons on my website which are not on YouTube. So if you check out my website, mikebradleymusic.com, um, and there's a load of other cool lessons on there, and some more ones, some more ones, some new ones will be going up there very, very soon. But, uh, but yeah, I'd really like to know your thoughts, so please let me know in the comment section below. And like and share this video for people who, um, you know, might need help with their vibrato as well. Or just want a good chat and uh, watch a guy talk about guitar, which is what I like doing anyway. But uh, anyway, hope you're really, really well as always. Thanks very much for watching and the support. And I will see you very, very soon. Mike Bradley, signing out. <laughs>